Magandang gabi po. This is time to everyone once again. Um, tonight, uh, we will share about uh, these two uh, newly finished paintings of mine. And we integrate uh, this to uh, the gospel for today. As in, sa evangelizer po po sa uh, dito sa uh, Ars Diocese ng Cebu. Uh, Catholic preacher. So, every time I have my artworks, uh, for me, it deserves like an altar of prayer. So, I mean, I I, I think, but deep in my heart, I really prayed for that. I really, how I worship the Lord and how I sincerely uh, pay uh, His trust for me as He called me as a follower and as a servant. Um, uh, there are the paintings. Just the first one, I called it as uh, its title, Valley of Tears. Um, since uh, lahat tayo may mga pagsubok, especially this pandemic uh, time, lots of trials, tribulations in life naranasan ng mga kababayan natin sa kasabong mundo. But Jesus assured us that uh, before He died, uh, binilin niya itong message para sa atin. Eh. Sabi niya, I have already conquered the world. That's why the, the next painting, Senior Santo Nino, we know Sr. Santolino, the patron saint, pinaka-patron uh, saint ng Visayas. Nagdadala yan ng, ano, eh, ng mundo. Eh. Yung sa left side. Ngayon, ang puso niya binibigay. So, let me just recall back uh, the message of Monsignor Fred back year, many years ago. Sabi ni Monsignor, uh, let me paraphrase uh, his statement. Grabe, um, tayo pala kapag may mga problema, parang pinasa natin ang mundo eh. So we look at Senior Santo Nino, siya ang nag, uh, he holds us, he holds the, the whole universe, the whole world. So why not ibigay natin ni Lord ang lahat ng uh, mga problems, trials, and tribulations in life. Po. Kasi kapag mabibigatan uh, tayo ng mga problema, parang kita, tayo, parang ang mukha natin, parang tayo, nag, tayo ang nagpapasa ng, ng mundo. <laughs> but here, the cross represents, of course, that it's not uh, an easy journey for us to to know as a Christian, as a follower of Christ. Like in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, 2099 to 2100, such as Jesus crucified, died, tayo rin magsasakripisyo din for uh, these three major re reasons. Una, in atonement for our sins, uh, kabayaran ng ating mga kasalanan. Si Lord Jesus nga, oh, Siya ang nagsilbi ng ransom para tayo ay maliligtas. At si Senyor Santorino din ay isang uh, holy infant na determines us the humility as we uh, continue this life, our journey, our Catholic faith. So, as we integrate it in our gospel today, sabi rito, anyone who wants to save his life will lose it. 
But anyone who loses his life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. Yan ang pinakamalakas na message ni Lord dito. Ha? Kasi yung mga disciples or, or mga apostles niya, biglang nalungkot baka si Jesus maging offering ni God para hindi katanggap-tanggap nila yun. But uh, at first, by heart, Jesus asked them, Who do you say that I am? So it's because uh, as what I I shared, na there's no such thing as a easy Catholic joining. That's why we need the grace of God, His strength, uh, so that mamamatay man ng Panginoon, tayo ay bigyan niyang lakas patungo sa kanyang uh, kaharian. So, John 14.6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yan. Si Jesus Christ. Nagsimbolo ng sakripisyo at ang kanyang uh, suffering sa cross ay isang importanteng uh, commemoration ng isang uh, tauspuso pag-ibig sa kanyang mga mga kristyano. Uh, second reason po according sa katolik uh, katikisan ng katoliko is that para rin tayo maging to live holy, holy life in order for us to become holy. That's why uh, si Yer Santolino represented the, the holiness and also the purity and the humility kasi we live on solid ground. Eh. Uh, nung sinabi ni St. Paul, we should not live in the spirit but we should live or, or any in a picture as, as we uh, un- understood it. We should live, being a renewed Christian, we should live in the spirit, never with the flesh. That's why si San Pablo, sabi niya, it is no longer I who lives, but Jesus who lives in me. I can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens me. So that's it po. Hopefully po, nagagandahan po kayo sa video na ito. We offer this as... Uh, Blessed Sunday for everyone. Thank you so much. Get this one.